Okay, things are happening. Allegedly. Uh, okay. Do we have control? We do, we do. Good deal. Just do a double check of the stream sound balance and all that stuff. My setup is so, so jank. Okay. Yes, there we go. Okay, I can hear the audio a little bit. Let me break a barrel as a sound test. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, I'm going to crank it down just a hair. Just a hair. Okay. And that should be fine. Yeah, I had to... Um, or, I didn't have to, but... I did adjust my audio settings yesterday when I was swapping games to good old Vampire Survivors, which was a really good time. Uh, I think I will probably be continuing with that game, because um, you can only take so much Souls game before your sanity starts to slip away, so, uh, you know, change of pace is never a bad idea. Uh, okay. Right. I guess, I guess, I suppose, we can, uh, we can hop right to it. Uh, right. Welcome, everyone. This is Laggy Couch, or Aggie Couch, or Justy Mage, the man that goes by many names. And we're doing a bit of a late Sunday night Elden Ring stream. We're going to continue our investigation of the weeping, was it, Peninsula? I was going to say island or continent or something. It's not neither of the two. It's a peninsula. So, yeah, we're going to... You know, last time we had hoped to check the whole thing out, but... didn't. We fell just short of that goal, I would say. Um, we got... I don't know. We, we started here and we worked all our, our way all the way around to here. So maybe 75%, but there's so many secrets tucked away and little nooks and crannies to investigate, so... I have no idea. I've got five spots marked on the map. These are just areas that look interesting on the map. Uh, who knows what's going on there? There could be nothing. It could be an entire side quest. And I suppose one thing that isn't uh, denoted with the markers, there's a giant stomping uh, like tower thing with a bell that dangles down like it's junk in this field. So no idea what the deal is with that. Actually, it's a little weird. It's not moving right now. It had been stomping around pretty consistently. I don't know what triggered it not moving. You know, one one thing is we did purchase from this merchant last time a note, and the note said, we'll just take a look. Um, it's a bit of a puzzle, you know, I think. It says, uh, ta to stop the mausoleum stride, you'll need to clean up around its feet first. And... I've been thinking about that since Saturday? No, Friday. Friday? Yeah, Friday, when we did the long stream. But I, I don't know what to make of it. It's pretty much always raining on the Weeping Peninsula. I have a feeling that's where it got its name from. So I don't think it has anything to do with you know washing things away with water. And we did ride up to his feet one time before, and I didn't notice anything obvious. And unless it was a merchant I missed or something, I haven't seen anywhere you could buy a power washer or anything of that sort. So uh, I don't exactly know what to do. I do see, hmm, see that skull pattern there? I wonder if there's, I wonder if that's something we can, oh, well, you can break it, huh. Again, it's not moving right now. Maybe I should, maybe I can bash. Nah, it's, Vel is too tall to bash. I can't ring-a-ling-ding it on my own. That's fine. We'll uh, clear off its feet, as the note recommended. I'm assuming this is what it talked about, or it was uh, alluding to. And we'll see what happens. Uh, please? Oh my gosh. We'll try an alternate weapon, then. Uh, how about the sword? There we go. I don't know. Seems like the sort of work you would put the mace to. I've been very critical of the old mace, and 
I think for good reason. It's really lagged behind the spear and the uh, broadsword. Or bastard sword. Is it a broadsword or bastard sword? Let me check. Broadsword, sorry. But one of the things I did off stream just before I went live was, you know, one of the problems with this build currently is, aha, it has begun to move, so we'll have to be careful. Uh, it's going to be very easy to get smashed, and not in a good way. I don't think I can reach that. I might have to pull the bow out. I can't pull the bow out. At least not on horseback. Oh! Aha, that was all that was required then, I suppose. Okay, fine, good. Mission accomplished. You know, I thought we would have to uh, investigate and try a bunch of things, and I had doubts we would even be successful, but, you know, here we are. We, last, last stream, last Elden Ring stream, you know, um, things didn't go as planned, and now things are going too well, so. I'm sure it'll all balance out in the end. Um, okay. Oh, this is like the the knights outside. Remembrance duplication menu. Huh. I don't have any of that. I'm not sure I know what it means. Maybe it's the, when you beat a big boss in this game, like a, one of the main bosses, like Godric or some others further down the line, you get a memory of the boss, and I couldn't figure out what to do on my first Doomed playthrough. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing maybe it has something to do with that. You know, that text also implied there's other ones of these, these wandering mausoleums kind of around in places, so something to keep an eye out for if we ever do figure out what we're supposed to use there, which we haven't so far. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> uh, that's one mystery solved in record time. Uh, so I guess, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue towards the markers on the map. Uh, I'm not sure which one is closest. See. Yeah, four, I suppose. So we'll head off towards four following the coast and keep our eyes peeled for anything enticing, any spicy, saucy scenarios. <sighs> okay. So let's see. Today was actually. Ooh, ocean zombie. He's not hurting anyone. I guess there's zombies all over this beach. Just like some of the beaches I've been to. Wonder if they came from those those shipwrecks out there. That would that would make sense lore wise. And there is wreckage all over the shore as well. Hmm. Interesting. However, I don't see any juicy, delicious, shiny items like you would hope to find. Any I guess pirate ship treasure. So there are a lot of them over there, aren't there? Shambling about. Oh, there's, there's a little bit of uh, loot. Let's see if we can snag it without getting bashed. All right, golden rune. I actually burned some golden runes earlier. Um, I think I started this and maybe didn't finish my thought, so we'll try to do it now, but I make no promises. The uh, you know, I did some stuff just before going live. One of the things I did was there's a... You may remember from the end of the last stream, there's a cave kind of in, kind of near the starting area, near the, the Dragon Lake. And in that cave were, were a bunch of upgrade materials. One of the issues with this build is because I've got such a variety of weapons, I didn't focus my upgrade materials on one weapon. So I've got everything leveled up a few times, like two or three, but that's it. I hear, I hear a... Uh, one of those scarabs around here. I'm assuming he's up there on that ledge. And I don't want to mess with with daddy land octopus, so I don't know if I'll circle back around for that or not. I'm voting no for the time being. But, yeah, so in that cave there's a bunch of miners and a lot of upgrade mats. And 
before there were a bunch of upgrade mats just sitting on the ground. And I collected all those and used them. But I couldn't remember if the miners dropped some as well. So I actually cleared the entire cave out twice. And I only got... And it turns out they do drop the stuff, so that's good. Um, but they only dropped one after, you know, clearing them, getting rid of all of them. And I don't know, there's probably six or so miners in there. So, again, for clarity, these are pickaxe miners, not young miners. So that's not a super high drop rate. And I, I should mention, on the second run-through, I burned a... Uh, bird foot or whatever, which does increase drop rate, theoretically. So, it seems like if I wanted to, I could spend some time in there, killing miners over and over, until all the weapons that need that first level smithing stone have been upgraded all the way. But it's going to take some time. And I don't know if I'm really um, about that right now. Maybe later, maybe if I'm feeling really locked by my weapons, you know? I feel like they're really not serving me well anymore. Hello, wolf. I don't think I can get to four from here. This seems like a sheer cliff. So, we will go around the long way, I guess. I don't blame you, wolf. I just had to take a swing out of principle. You understand how it is. We gotta keep up appearances. We're buddies on the, on the DL, but... We we make a we make a show of howling at each other and swinging and stuff. It's we gotta do it. it's for tax purposes, you know. It's uh, tied to our employment and that sort of thing. Okay, here we are. Um, see you later, see you later, Torrent. Thanks for the ride as always. Torrent will always get a five star review from me. So yeah, don't personally feel. Hi, buddy. If you're going to stare at me, hmm, very clever. He's using the ancient technique of walking to the side, but he's abandoned it now and it will cost him. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I completely forgot how to play these games, even though I've been playing them for 10 years or so. That's fine. See, can't you tell how good I am? Can't you tell how much experience I have walking right into a du dual enemy attack? That dude just blessed himself. That's not going to be a blessing for me. I'm thinking... Torrent, I sent you away too early. Why don't you uh, give me a hand or a hoof? Alright. Little guy dies first. Ow. He has a lance, I think. That's cool. I haven't seen a lance enemy yet. I have no idea what his moveset is. He does seem proper suited for horseback battle, doesn't he? I am chipping away at his horse, though. I think we just about got him. Yep, there we go. And then the old stab on the ground. My shield's up. Okay. Ow! Dude. He has a proper tower shield, doesn't he? Alright, hang on. He seems <laughs> well turtled there, doesn't he? So maybe we... There we go. I learned about that uh, Art of War in my last stream, and I will be using it for sure. Shield enemies are my least favorite, because they're usually paired with uh, with uh, spear enemies and maximum pokey turtle mode type attacks. And I didn't have a way to reliably deal with it before. Hello, excuse me. Ballista. Okay. Get out of firing range. Let's go. Uh, shall we hop on up? Yeah, get, get the mushroom hop on up. Um, ba -ba -ba. there's... I don't know if this really goes anywhere. I guess it doesn't. Is anyone following me? No, they're not. The ballista cannot shoot me from here, so... Oh, this guy's kind of a little concerned, it seems. Let's ease his worries. Bap. What will he do? He's gonna... Okay, that's fine. Leap attack! Whiff. I'm sure he's impressed, though, you know? He's like, damn, that's stylish. And then he swung his sword. Right. Ballista man. 
You're just doing your job, but it's impeding me doing my job, so no hard feelings, but this is the way it has to be. Okay. My fo throat feels a little scratchy today, in a, in a weird way. It doesn't feel tired, but there's a bit of a kind of light, almost like a rattle in the back. As best I can tell, it's not affecting my singing or anything like that. Whoa. Hmm. Is that just sleeping gas? Because I found a chest like this earlier. And I tried to see if there was an item there. And I never got an item, but I sure as hell got transported to a nightmare realm that I barely survived. So, yeah, don't know what the deal is with those chests. If there's a way to, re if they are like just a trap or if there's a way to retrieve some sort of goodie inside. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, putting your message right next to a ladder, that could have been disastrous, disastrous if I was trying to run from someone. I guess I could have hopped off, though. Hail, sir. Shall we have an honorable duel in these fields? Good game, sir. But yeah, I'll be interested to check the check the bot and see if my voice actually sounds any different. Like, really A-B it from my Friday stream or something, or not. My sleep schedule has been absolutely terrible lately. I don't know why. I'm just... I'm not sleeping through the night. I'm just generally anxious and kind of in a manic sort of mood. Ow. How are you going to let a dude with a short sword stab you when you have a, a giant spear? It's just a matchup that you should never, ever lose. Oh, yeah, that's something else I was going to mention. You need to be on the lookout for new drip, because... Ooh, nice. Because... This outfit served me pretty well so far, but that's something I noticed in my last playthrough as well, is... I just didn't find a lot of merchants selling really good armor, or armor that... Looked good to me, I suppose, I should say. Ooh. Could have easily missed that. Do with this mushroom. Looking at the castle. There's a way back up, right? Yeah, here we are. Maybe. I don't know, that spirit was struggling mightily. Is there any way to go down? There maybe is. I don't think I'll survive that fall, though. Huh. Um. Right. I did exactly what that spirit did, and it worked out the same way for me as it did for him. Maybe here? Well, okay. Cool. <laughs> A little bit suspect, you know? Wouldn't say we played that exactly by the rules, but it worked. Sorry, Lemur. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you got Mama Land Octopus and her five little octoplings. I thought that was a crab for a second. It's not. It's... Actually, I don't know what that is. It's a skull, probably. There's plenty of skulls around here. If you don't know what something is on the ground, just take a guess. Say it's a skull. You'll be right 90% of the time. I hear jingling sounds. Hmm. Okay, so it's a shiny message that I want to read, but we've got, we've got company of the unpleasant sort. I'm assuming it's going to be really pissed when I start attacking the babies. Yeah. I haven't successfully beaten one of these yet. I haven't given it a real attempt. Which is an important point. But... The one time I did try to fight one, I just... I took a few swipes at it, and I realized its health pool was pretty dang big. And it probably wasn't worth my time. Although, who knows? Maybe they drop a ton of souls. Sorry, ruins. I'll get it right eventually. 
translator's note. He never got it right. Reddit. Rather, editor's note, I guess. By the way, I'm the editor. I'll just kill our babies. Maybe she'll... Oh! You can rip their arms off. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. There's the other one. So can I do what I want now? Or can you still hit me? You can still hit me. Okay, 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 okay. Point taken, point taken, point taken. I was wondering if it was just totally ineffective after that. But nope. It is uh, still pretty damn effective. I think there's still a baby. Yeah, there it is. That is a very unpleasant sound. Um, I'm guessing bashing doesn't do much. Yeah. What about slashing? Oh, it regrew its tentacles. It's got rapid regeneration skills. Luckily, the tentacles... All right, bug. We got enough going on without you here. You know, last time I was saying, none of them have ever attacked me. He didn't even drop his head. What a what a total tight bastard. Don't go to sleep, laptop. There we go. Yeah, that's... It's going to take a minute to get him. Okay. I think that's the sound... Yeah, that's the sound of regeneration. Ow, 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 ow. Hmm. I wonder how it likes fire damage. Uh... That's cure poison. <laughs> I was like, usually the attack animation doesn't take that long. It's because it wasn't an attack animation. It was a healing animation. 92. Okay, yep. That's what we like. That's some roasted octopus. Some takoyaki. Ow. Oof. I'm guessing the beak does a lot of damage. Again, dragonfly. I see you. I see you. Is he staggered there? You know what we need to be doing is heavy attacks. There we go. 38. Wow. Catch more flame. I'm out. Retreat. Briefly. Yeah, my suspicions... Um... Ew. Is it birthing octopi? Is that what's happening? I don't know what that animation accomplished, but it was gross. Some, uh... Disgusting activity. Some bodily functions were happening back here. Way too close for comfort. I think it was... Alright, that's it for... That's it for the uh, fire attacks. So, we'll do it the hard way from here on out. Oh. Hmm. Okay. About half health. We're making progress, Al. Al. We've got some health left. Nope, stay. Keep that beak away, please. Go flail attack. Oof. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. See, the thing is, I don't know if whapping away its its primary dragonfly. It doesn't even do any damage. It's just annoying. Okay, there we go. Oh! Interesting. There's the damage. Okay, okay, okay. So what you want to do is heavy attack it until... I think I had a chance to do that earlier, don't you know? Yeah, it doesn't take that much. Okay, okay. New strat. I don't think I'll fear these guys as much. And you, dragonfly. It's your turn now. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? They know when you lock on, don't they? They also know when you pull your butt. Oh, that's so annoying. Pull Firefly. Okay. Land Octopus Ovary. Strip of White Flesh. Oh, look at all these butterflies here. No, Torrent. Although you did save me from the uh, Bastard Dragonfly. Put away your bow. All right. He's just fucking with me. Okay, there we go. Cool. Worth it. My revenge is complete. They did deplete me of quite a bit of resources. And we'll save the message for last. Uh, a lot of gold fireflies. If I knew what they were for, I'd probably be pretty excited. But I have no clue. Let's see. 
I guess this marker can uh, go away. It's already gone. I can't figure out what triggers the markers to disappear. They seem to, like, take just an extra second or two longer than I would expect. I wonder if the gold fireflies are just good for selling or something. Now nah, they've got to be for crafting something, I would think. All right, Twinkly message. What's that? I think that's a phantom, but it looked strange. Huh. Bravery. Okay. <laughs> well, fine. I guess it was a marker on the map, so I'm not too upset. But I thought that was like an NPC note or something. And it certainly isn't. I think it's just a normal player note. I'm pretty sure it is. Who knows for sure. Probably going to stream for not too long tonight. Maybe an hour or two. Daily savings time has screwed me over too. On the topic of messed up sleep schedules. That's not going to help at all. Or maybe it'll set me right. You know, Maybe two screwed up, horrible, annoying things will... Will uh you know cancel out? Don't know. All right. So yeah, if we want to get up there. Okay, new plan. We're gonna. I'm gonna call this part of the continent explored. And I always kind of was aiming to wind up at the tree as kind of the the finale of the peninsula. Um, campaign. So let's go to the lookout tower and then kind of circle you know, southwest I guess towards the big tree. I don't think I've ever been to one of the big trees. So I'm curious to see what's there. Right. Opposite direction. So, one of the things I did today, actually the main thing I did today, I guess, was I actually did some art. <laughs> I am not an artist, so <laughs> it, it, I won't vouch for its quality at all, but that's not the Divi Human settlement, right? Because we've already explored that. I think it might be, you know. Or is it this way? No, it's the complete opposite direction. Where? I have no idea where I'm going. And you know what? The, the, mar the markers are on the compass at the top of the screen, so there is no excuse. Okay, there's the grace. We found our way back. Good job. Clap, clap, clap. There's the watering hole for all the pooches. Hmm. So I need to get up there somehow. It seems like maybe this way works. So we'll follow the cliff around. Good, more dragonflies. I wasn't tired of you guys already. But yeah, I, I did some art and I drew a, like a mascot <laughs> type thing. And then did some, you know, splashed it all over my Twitch and my YouTube. So there's like an anthropomorphic couch man now that I drew. Again, I won't say it's good, but it is something I made, and I feel like the scuffness kind of fits the tone of what we do here at this place, so it all kind of works out. Right. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Uh, hang on, I'll take my jacket off real quick. I don't know why I'm wearing a jacket. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Ah. Uh. <sighs> so yeah just kind of figuring out how to use what was it adobe fresco i think which i throw my ipad which finally justified me buying a freaking ipad It was fun. What's that? A yellow ember. Hmm. Don't know what it's for, but it is shiny. We have a policy around here. If it's shiny, we grab it. Oh, hi. 
Okay, so that's more enemies with yellow eyes. You know what? I realize what this reminds me of now. It's like Hollow Knight. You know, all the bugs that are infected with the the radiant light, they have kind of yellow eyes as well. I wonder if it's some sort of weird tribute or what the deal is. I bet it has something to do with that, that material. All right, we go hunting through our inventory again. My favorite part of the game. I'm sure it's yours as well. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. It's a crafting material. Ah, so they're frenzied. A sign of eldritch abominations. What could have frenzied those rats? Were they just naturally frenzied? Or some foul Lovecraftian beast afoot? Okay. What I'm looking for should be off to the right. I guess we follow the road. There he is. Whoa. The rat had spidey sense. It's a plant. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Eye of Yellow Oak. Yeah, definitely never come across that. I'm guessing it's another crafting item? Hmm, no, I don't see it there. How many... I've only got four. I need six, I think, small st smithing stones to upgrade one of my items. And then the other stuff will take quite a bit more, obviously. So I need a lot of those. I've heard rumors that there's a way to get the merchants to sell them to you, but I haven't found it yet. What's with the items just disappearing into my inventory sometimes? Who knows where they go? They're filed away somewhere. Like some pocket he forgot about. Uh, we got Riffle Mama. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good end of your weekend. But yeah, he's probably gonna... <laughs> There's probably gonna be like a smell about him, you know, and he... What is that? And then one day he'll realize, oh, I've got all these items in my spare pocket that I forgot about. All right. Okay. That's that's too many rats. Really, one rat is too many rats, but three is certainly, certainly way too many. Luckily, they, I don't know what the deal is with their AI. They haven't been too aggressive. I'll take it, you know. Not complaining. Okay, what's your deal, friend? He's got a spear. I can play that game, too. He's got yellow eyes. You know, I did come across a tower way later in the game that did some sort of frenzy effect. And I didn't think to look at my you know, player character's eyes at the time. I wonder if they started to glow like those, those uh, enraged enemies or if it's just an enemy effect. It'd be a cool detail if it did, but I don't know. Taking a bath, relaxing. Good deal. I haven't had a bath in a long time. I am good. I am <laughs> kind of exhausted, but happy, happy to be playing some Elden Ring this evening. Uh, okay. Is that a bad guy? No, that's a barrel. Barrels are not enemies. It's not so far. Wasn't there? An, I think there was a barrel enemy in Dark Souls 2, actually. I can't remember. Let's uh, scout around this village first. At least the deer aren't infected with Eldritch Horror. Just normal deer. It's weird, right, that the rats would get infected, but the deer wouldn't. Maybe it's something in the meat. I don't know. I'm just speculating. At least you attacked. You're an upgrade over everyone else so far. I don't know. Maybe the first two rats attack. Yeah, it's... It, this game... It can be challenging. For sure. You, you do have to have patience, you know. If you have patience, a solid plan, and maybe the ability to summon friends. It's an ailing village. Okay. Cool. That would explain the uh, plague rats. 
But yeah, there's things you can do in game to make your life easier. So if you're interested in it, I wouldn't I wouldn't say yeah, it's probably too hard. Stay away from it. There's there's some gatekeeping with this game, unfortunately, in the series. But yeah, if you have no idea what you're doing and you don't have much patience, then it can be a bad time. <laughs> yeah, well then, there's always streams to watch, right? So maybe that'll be sufficient to uh, to uh, satiate your thirst for this this sort of uh, you know what's going on in this world in this game. Man, that dude was selling these. Arteria leaves for like five grand or something. Okay. Well, that's a lot of beasties. Hmm. We'll come back to that. I definitely want that shiny. I will be acquiring it. Assuming things just don't go horribly wrong here. How many flasks do I have? I got four. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing fine. Okay. I know there was at least, yeah, this guy. I can't tell which way he's facing. And then we've got some more over here. They're all, <laughs> they're all, oh, what was that challenge a while back uh, where everyone, everyone like froze and they put it up on TikTok or whatever? I can't remember. That's what they're doing though. Did that do have a Cthulhu face? Hang on. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, don't like it when you do that. I can't tell if that's a beard or tentacles. I think it might be tentacles. Spooky. It's interesting. I thought I had a unique voice, but that's cool. Um, only joking, of course. Right. Yeah, this is just eerie, you know? I guess he is breathing slightly, so... But that can't be comfortable. If I did that for 10 seconds, my back would be totally gone for about a week or two. Okay. Man. These enemies are ailing. They're ailing from just totally not caring at all and being easy targets. Again, that's free XP for me, so not complaining game, but just a little bit uh a little bit underwhelmed, I would say. Maybe just whelmed. Voice is soothing. Okay, well then I will take that statement as a compliment. I don't know, I have been streaming after a long break of not streaming. So this is kind of my first week back, and I'm kind of waiting to see how my voice holds up i had like a four and a half hour stream on friday and my voice was definitely breaking at the end audibly so i've been trying to kind of take it easy and and not overstrain things but just gotta get back in the swing of things you know <sighs> all right I have to remember this place if I ever need those those materials. The, that yellow ember stuff is all over the place. It's just it's, it's a good resource. Assuming it's used for anything useful at all, it could be total crap. Okay, here's the plan. We stab some rats. When things inevitably go tits up, we retreat through the door, and that'll single file them all, and everything will work out great, and I'll be victorious, and nothing could possibly go wrong. Working out well so far, which is surprising. Oh, ow. Nope, there it is. Dude's, like, pushing his buddy along like a shield. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys! Man, I wish I had uh, some, some fire bombs or something. It would have been perfect. They are all lined up. Roll away. Okay. Again, thank goodness these guys don't inflict poison in this game. Or, you know, since they're frenzied, it... Maybe you'd expect them to inflict curse or something, but you know, that is the question I have at this point: is what made all of these guys go crazy here? You think it'd be something? The flame of frenzy. Ooh, I'll have to check that out in a minute. But we've got bigger fish to fry. Or should I say rats? What does that sound? Is that him? Oh, it's kind of sad sounding. Let's put him out of his misery. 
Okay. Nice counterattack. Oh, the frenzy is building up. Okay. Yep. Well, let's be careful. Let's be cautious. I want no part of that. Whew. Okay. And a flask refund. Excellent. And a sacred tear. All right. Good stuff. Ah, I'm sure your voice is fine. You're probably like me. I'm, I'm way too self-critical with things in general. Yeah, it's a big-ass rat. It's a dead big-ass rat, too. It's revenge for uh, the last stream where I dropped into a trap, and one of those was waiting for me, and I didn't fare as well against that particular encounter. But, okay, so that's maybe this village done? Maybe? I don't think I missed anything. Did a pretty good job circling around. Most of these houses seem inaccessible. Um, yeah. Oh, there's Grace over there. Okay. So we can come back and explore. Come back and explore later if we really feel the need to. But I kind of think that's a clean sleep. Clean sweep. Wow, my words are failing me. Blah, blah, blah. Again, English is hard. Where's that grace? I just saw it. There it is. I play any co-op games. I mean, this is technically a co-op game, or it can be. But... Generally... Hmm. I don't know. Do you have any examples? The answer's going to be probably not. I, I have back in the day, like... I remember playing... Years of War and like Army of Two, which is a game everyone has forgotten about. But I, I did play it. Someone died down there. Don't know what happened. We'll walk away. I saw nothing, officer. Um, okay. Right. So now we're going to go check out this mysterious looking cave in the ground. I think we probably want to circle around under this bridge. I've been over the bridge before, but what was that marker number two? Okay. Now, I definitely saw what was going on underneath, and I think it was a bunch of flowers and stuff. And it didn't look like a good time, but we must explore. Yeah, that bridge. Um, can I survive that fall? We will find out. Uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Answer is no. Mark that down. It's, it's science, baby. It's all about experimentation. Um, yeah, you can join friends in this. So, pretty much all the Souls games have. Well, no, no, no. Don't run off towards a cliff. We don't need to do that. Uh, there we go. I was hoping my my runes would be up here at the top. But yeah, you can uh, summon your friends into games or. You know, for cooperation or for PvP, whatever you, you want. And that can be people you know. You can set that up with a password system so you don't summon random people if you if that's what you want to do. Um, or you can just leave it open to the world and co-op with randoms. But yeah, it, it is possible. And it does. it is one of the main things you can do if you're struggling with something is to uh, grab a buddy. I really want to get down there. Maybe I should just warp. Yeah, okay. We'll take the shortcut. Neo 2. Yeah, I played Neo 1. And I had a really good time with it. I love that game. Never played Neo 2. It, it just... I guess it came out at a time when I wasn't really looking to play any games or something. That'll be my excuse. But... So I don't even want to go to the bridge. I want to be down here. So this is perfect. So yeah, I don't... I, I have zero knowledge of the game, except that I have a strong suspicion that it'd be right up my alley. I just never picked it up. It's on the list. Yeah, this is what I saw before. Just a... Just a cloud of poison powder. Bad times. If you, if you have allergies, like, stay the hell away from this, because... Bad times. All right. Well, let's just ignore them. Uh, yeah, I'll put that bullshit firmly in the not worth it, leave him alone category. 
Okay, so the map isn't perfect, but ah, in this case, it did help. Is there someone behind me? It's a bat! Bat attack. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. I think there's another one. Yeah, right there. I was locked onto him. I couldn't see what I was locked onto, but I was locked on. It's like, huh? I think just out of principle, we got to take him out, right? So as soon as my back's my back is turned, he's uh he'll be coming right for my neck. There we go. Oh, one shot. I did not think that would kill him in one shot, but I'll take it. I wonder why. It's not like I upgraded the bow or anything. Uh, let's see, let's see. They're awesome, and you can play with friends. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I love the first Neo. Spent a ton of time in that game. Uh, I'm sure there may be others, but it's really one of the only games that kind of comes close to this series for me. I... <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, if you looked up badass in the dictionary, you would uh, you would find me as an antonym there. <laughs> Complete opposite. But I do my best. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Right. What's the name of this cave? Morn Tunnel. Yep, that makes sense. Seeing as this is the Morn Peninsula. Wait, no, it's not the Morn Pen Peninsula. The castle was Castle Morn. Actually, this is potentially good news because I really need upgrade materials. Ow. Hope that last bite was worth it, my friend. Okay, there are a lot of them. They're just chopping at that corpse. That's pretty grim. Let's continue on. Pay them no mind. Hmm. I guess I could hop over there. I just don't want to. I see you. I see you. You see him waiting for someone to come across this narrow, this plank. You're just going to ambush him. I don't like that smile, sir. Oh, oh, so you can hop. Okay. Well, <laughs> the timing. I'm sure he'll be working his way back up here and he won't be very pleased. But that's okay. That's his problem, not mine. All right, carefully. I did not see that guy sitting there, slash laying there. Let's uh, put him back to bed. Ow. Again, they're, they're getting off their last bite attack. That smile is very Attack on Titan-esque, isn't it? Ah, okay. Ah, there's one up there. Leap of faith, go. Okay, that was close. You know, something I haven't tested in this game is whether or not you jump further with lighter armor or not. Like, I know you roll more quickly if you got light armor on. Which one is this? Smithing Stone 1. Alright, good, good, good. That's exactly what I need. I'm really glad I didn't spend hours mining this stuff if I was going to come across this, uh, this little cave here. I'd have been very upset. Hopefully we can get a good haul, but we shall see. That guy that fell down is coming for revenge. I guarantee it. He's around here somewhere. I don't know where. And I don't know how, but he will strike back. Hmm. Okay, sneak attack. Okay, so I guess they're kind of like... Ooh, there's a sleeping one right there, too. Ooh, a third one. Hmm. Situation more dangerous than I imagined. But I guess they're kind of... They're, they're like... These guys are like the bosses or something, and they're, they're making the miners mine. I guess that's the story. I don't know. Let's free the good workers, and then steal all their stuff, and probably kill them, too. My cause is not a noble or just one. I'm just here for the stones. Mace is a little slow for these enemies. Let's go back to sword. Yeah, good old reliable broadsword. I see you there. Uh, more old fangs. I don't think I ever found a use for those, but I certainly got a lot of them in Castle Morn, so we'll add them to the pile. 
Okay. Do you notice me? He didn't notice me. Good. Still one shots him. Good deal. More smithing stones. It's cool. The uh, the mining sound isn't just like a background noise. It's actually directional, and it's actually, you know, if you listen, it'll lead you towards where the miners are. Nice little detail. In fact, it's almost a little too directional, because if you were really in a cave like this, the sound would be bouncing all over the place, and, you know, I think that's one of the main ways some people get lost in caves sometimes. So, there goes my realism. It's fine, I guess. We'll look past it. Alright, and I'm assuming your buddy is not pleased with that. Yep. Here comes the infinite pickaxe attack. Shall we count them? Two, three, four. Just four. Wow. What a slacker. Huh, not dead. Now he is. It's been a while since I've been in a cave. Maybe since college. I remember taking a field trip as part of a geology course I was taking. That was an awesome field trip. We got some good barbecue and... It's kind of long. It was like a full weekend, but I have some good memories from that trip. Okay. What's the deal here? Ah, now we're down here, which means our friend is around here somewhere. Okay, what's the smart way to play this? That guy looks a little tougher than your average demi-human, so... Let's see if we can exercise a bit of stealth and... Nice. Actually, I don't know if these guys are demi-humans. I think they might be something else. I think the, the king at the castle mentioned what species these guys are, but... Ow. Health's getting a little low there. Stay calm. Someone's shooting arrows at me. Again, stay calm. Who, who darest? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I remember these guys. They look so different inside. Yeah, you shoot three times, don't you? Hmm. How shall we handle you? Nope, wrong button. Quickly, quickly. A perfect miss. That'll hit, though. I don't know. When He's kind of... I was going to say, oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. You kind of have to be on the ground to strafe, right? I don't think you can, like, fly strafe, but... I don't know. I think it's, like, a totally different technique. So I don't know what to call what he was doing there. He's kind of circling around, I suppose. Um, right. Okay, we're down two flasks. Not ideal. But I think we're towards the end of this cave, so we should be fine. See, there's another one of these leaves. They must be, they must be for something good. I don't know. I say we're towards the end of the cave, but it sure is extending. And I think there was a path up there I totally ignored. Hmm. All I know is I'm upgrading the crap out of some weapons after this. Which is long overdue. Hello, sir. Good night, sir. Your shift has ended. Thank you for your hard work. Is that him? No, it's not him. It's some other one. Maybe the fall killed that guy. I don't know. So paranoid about him. I feel like the, uh... I think these barrels are explosive, you know. I probably could have leveraged that, but that's okay. I feel like the bad guy who sent his henchmen to kill an entire village, but they left one kid alive, and you're like, you killed them all, didn't you? And they're like, oh, of course, Bosh. And they totally didn't. And then he's the protagonist, and he's coming back to uh, totally murder your ass. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. It's probably nothing. There's a lot of bodies here. See, the trick is always leaving one that can uh, tell the tale. That's the badass way of doing it, I think. But then again, it leaves open the uh, possibility of revenge, so I don't know. It's so nice to one-shot these. They're pretty annoying to fight, honestly. Got a pretty thick skin, so a lot of weapons don't do very well. But the mace does pretty good. It's nice to finally get some use out of the mace. I was getting pretty... Ooh, soft cotton. 
How delightful. How fluffy and comforting. I, uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was getting... I was, like, damn close to saying, you know what, screw this maze. I'm, I'm dropping it, and I'll look for some other third weapon. But as of late, it's really started to grow on me a little bit. So I'm glad I hadn't done that. We carry on deeper into the mines. And they call it a mine. A mine! Is there a boss in there? Probably. Hmm... So, mental note of that, we'll go back and explore the rest of the cave. So that ghost had a cool, like, cape. I want a cape. Where's all the swag in this game? Who's hoarding the swag? I want the swag. That dude. The sword is pretty cool. It looks like the... Oh, man, I can't remember. There was a specific sword in Dark Souls 1 that I really liked. I've been here. I'm just going back and forth. Not accomplishing anything. So I'm only slightly less productive than I usually am in these games. Hmm. Okay. Where? I feel like there was a path. Is it this? Was it this way? Maybe it's this way. Yeah, I haven't been here yet. Some of these mines look familiar. I was just in the uh, that other mine that I mentioned before this stream, so... A lot of these places look quite familiar. Just a bit of an uh, unhappy circumstance there. That's okay. You know what I really need to do? I need to find a weapon that the somber smithing stones can work on. And make that my third weapon. Because... You know, it's a totally different upgrade path. And I should have plenty of those. And if I could pour them all into one weapon, that would be excellent. It'd be good if it was like a bow, I think. Because I'm pretty happy with all my melee weapons. And I like having a bow. I, don't, I just don't know that I'm that attached to the longbow. You know, It's a classic, but eh. Okay. I should be two-handing this. It's not why that guy didn't die before. If you would die, that would be Dai Jobu. Thank you, sir. Okay. And smash. Nope. Nope. One hand or two hand. They're taking two hits if it's not a a uh, not not a backstab, but like a sneak attack. Okay. Is it a trap? No trap. Okay. Helpful message. I should upvote that. Exalted flesh. Yummy. What if you went to like a, a steakhouse and you're like, sir, how would you describe the steak? Like, sir, it is simply exalted. It's like, damn, that must be good steak. Ooh. Hidden hidden back room area. There we go. Nope. Hmm. I don't know how I'm Ooh, a large glintstone trap scrap scrap. Excellent. Usually you don't hear scrap um, as a method of describing rocks, you know. Usually it's like a scrap of clothing or something of that nature. Or like Scrappy-Doo, of course, but... Okay, I think this, that's this leg done. So, back to the boss. Uh, I do have this new demi human ashes summon that i equipped before stream again because i'd forgotten that i had it i'm interested to see how they perform they have a heavier summoning cost than even the the old reliable doggos so i have great expectations of them but we'll see how they do this is not the right way wasting time So one of the other things I did earlier today was spent a little time organizing my YouTube channel, so I actually made thumbnails, which I've never done before. That was an interesting experience. Um, 
I set some playlists up as well. And as part of that, I watched the earliest stream highlight video I made, which was from the first Friday Night Variety stream. It's uh, it's kind of crazy how <laughs> how different the energy was there. Like I had a lot more energy. Um, I felt like my wit was a bit sharper as well. You could like smell the alcohol coming through the screen. I can't summon. Scaly, misbegotten. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. So, yeah, this was... So there was a boss in another one of these mines before. I guess it was the, the mine by that dragon lake. And he was a giant that was just a little bit tougher than normal. So this guy is a... A little bit tougher version of the giant misbegotten. I need to be doing heavy attacks on him, not light attacks. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that was a nice chunk of damage. And again. Oh, yeah. Broke his stance, and he's almost toast. One, two, three. Spit. And... Nice fight, sir. I don't think he hit me. That was clean as hell. And we got a rusted anchor. Too bad I don't have a boat. Well, it's, I'm a little sad I couldn't summon my uh, my demi human friends, but that's okay. The waiting will make the anticipation even stronger. Or something. Okay. We're knocking them out, y'all. We've got just a couple more. Actually, one more monument to explore. The primary one, the big tree. Now, the question is, how do we get up there? I think I accidentally got up there last time. No idea how that happened. Was there a... Hmm. I thought I passed by one of those updraft things that Torrent can use. Yeah, right here. But I don't know if it goes all the way to the top. Oh, the bats are back. The bats have reloaded. You know, those big bats kind of remind me of the giant bats from uh, Vampire Slayer. Uh, Vi Vampire Survivors, excuse me. Like the big ones that show up about five minutes in. Okay. We've got... Tree worshippers. I think I called them druids last time, but I don't know if they're actually druids. All I know is they got spears. They carry big old branches on their backs. I bet fire actually does pretty good with them being like tree based. There we go. Yep. Yes, it does indeed. Wow. That's a lot of damage. You know, I should have. Alright, I'm going to run back and reset my flasks because I don't want to do an approach on the tree, which I'm assuming is guarded by more of those guys without full flasks. Can't tell if this guy... Okay, yeah. Couldn't tell if it's just a body or if he's alive. He is alive. And now he's very upset. Again, I don't know why creatures in this world just have no chill. They're so hostile. It's unnecessary. There should be grace around here. Yeah, it's up here on this ledge, I think. Yep, there it is. Wow, the memory. I'm going to enjoy this moment where I actually remember where something was and didn't get lost, because Lord knows they don't come around often. All right. I don't know what the deal is with the trees. Um, they seem important. <laughs> They're big and shiny. But I don't know if they have a certain sort of loot there or, you know. I don't know what the deal is. Seems like they should be important. Alright. Come on. Let's dance again. He's all bark and no bite. Should have leafed me alone. I'm sick of more of you guys. Ah. That's not oak, A. 
with the poison. There we go. Nice poke. Again, the spear is probably my best weapon. They're all kind of situational, but spear is so reliable. Maybe the MVP. Certainly the MVP of my heart. Um, okay. Next up, let's go. Ah. Oh yeah, you're the guy that used ledge mechanics against me. Yeah, this isn't the most... How did that not hit? Okay, fine. Poke, poke. This is why we went back and flasked. Because if we hadn't... Ooh, a sword spear. Ah, it's not just a spear. It's not just a sword. It's the spork of the medieval world. The sword spear. I see riders. Hmm. Maybe time to call Torrent out. We're also going to a blue flask, I think. Since we've been pyromancing our way through those dudes. We should check Torrent's health as well. How you doing, buddy? He's fine. I'm assuming when there's no health bar, he's fine. Um, right. Hmm. That's where I want to go. But... I kind of want to see what's going on here. I think I already explored here, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, that's where that guy's at. Mr. Jesus Christ bows. So, off we go. Towards the big tree. Hello, fellas. Have a poke. I'm going to take you out just for fun. Your lives are nothing more to me than a bit of light entertainment. Just a bit of sport. Again, you are the worst sorcerer. More like sorcerer. Okay. Nailed it. Oh! That's a thing you guys can do, huh? Noted. Be on the lookout for that particular branch. It sure is lucky they all have matching branches, you know? That would have been a motherfucker of an ambush from behind, though. Okay, I thought that tower was a, uh, a giant standing there. Oh, there's more than one of them. Oh, nice dodge. There's three of them. Way too many. Way too many. Retreat. What was I locked onto? Don't lock onto the eagle, you moron. Ugh. This is not my favorite. Get him. There we go. Ah, damn it. Weapons are just a little too weak to, uh, to really plow through them right now. I should have gone and upgraded my weapons, you know, when I was at that grace just now. Way to be thoughtless. Come on. Okay. And before his friend gets here, let's finish him off. Excellent. Tarnish gold and sunflower. Wish it was the seeds, you know? That's a question. Do You know, everyone knows what a sunflower looks like. Everyone knows what sunflower seeds look like. Do the yellow sunflowers have seeds in them, like, all the time? Like, can you go and bust open a sunflower and get delicious sunflower seeds? I mean, I, I know you probably have to roast them or whatever, but... Um, I've never actually seen how they're harvested. They have to, right? They've got to come from that center part of the sunflower. Yeah, probably. Does he know I'm here? I'm thinking he doesn't. Oh! He whipped, at least. That was quite lucky. He fell victim to what I usually fall victim to, which is the, uh, the good old... Spear has a tight radius of attack, and you better not miss Syndrome. Hmm. Okay. Yep, it's an enemy, alright. I guess we can probably get rid of this uh, marker now. And that other one, too. The only question is, how tough are they? Hmm. 
It's also a lot of pots around her. I'm getting visions of chaos here. Erd Tree Avatar. Hmm. Okay. Giant tree monster. Tree golem, maybe. We go with the good old hit and run tactics. I like the music. Ow. Ow. That hurt. You know, I bet fire works pretty good against these guys, too. Uh, except I can't cast fire. There we go. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Also learned I can um, now craft. Should have should have rolled at the last second, right when that giant mace was just touched the tip of my dome. I was like, huh, I bet I should roll. Again, my brain failing me. Or rather, it has the right idea, but the timing is just not quite there. Uh oh. Um, yeah. Okay. Got it. Didn't know you could do that. I've got... Ah, man. Okay. So I need to... Uh, ah, there's... I just noticed there's more of those tree root fuckers running around. Rather, walking around. They're not running. They don't do anything that quickly. Okay. New plan. Well, mm, it's a bit of a run to get back here, though, you know? I wish there was some grace around here. Maybe there is. Let's, um... Okay. Plan. We grab our... Our, um, ruins. We retreat. And then we kind of circle this top area and see... See if we can find some grace. Maybe poke at some of these guys for... Just for laughs on the way by. Hopefully he didn't cast something. Nah, they would never do that. It's a tree. When's the last time a tree cast anything at you besides, like, acorn? Okay. Okay. Kind of asked for that, didn't I? Whoa! He's still attacking! You can't attack. Your boss music isn't playing. Follow the rules. I know what that singing is, though. It's bad fucking times is what it is. Don't want any part of that. I can't tell which one of them's doing it. Sounds like it's kind of coming from below me, but... Don't know. Why is the... Why are things on fire over here? What's happening? Did you guys do that? You just randomly setting stuff on fire? I mean... They are, actually. <laughs> that's your idea of a, a good time on the weekend, then I guess more power to you, but wish you'd be a bit more thoughtful about your actions. Stabby stab. Spear of the law, baby. Ah. Spear of justice. Only you can prevent forest fires. And grass fires. Right. So we found some other stuff, but no grace. There's the... The land octopus kind of watering hole. Hmm. That's so grace would be really welcome. So this game is really generous with the grace. Like, they're practically right next to each other. And then sometimes it's like this when you kind of, kind of could use it a little bit more conveniently. That was phrased pretty awkwardly, but I think you get my point. It's a minor Erd tree. Okay. Gotcha. Wonder what it's mining for. Good day to you two, sheep. Bye, indeed. Okay. I, 
I'm really kind of conflicted, you know. I I want to fight this boss. But I also want to upgrade my weapon. Weapons, I should say. But I don't want to run back up here. I'm going to do the right thing. No need to be lazy. No, don't set a marker. Just warp. Warp, warp, warp. There we go. Okay. Uh, don't see anyone new around here. Which is fair enough, because I haven't really progressed. The past, like, eight hours of my life have been a side quest. Which is fine, you know. We're having a good time. I'm having a good time. I won't speak for you, but... I think this little side area has been pretty cool. Alright. So... I kind of want... Yeah, we'll upgrade the spear, and then I've got a choice. Yeah, okay, let's just... Spear's been reliable. Let's... And, and then we can... Okay. Oh, yeah. Big upgrade on that spear. Went from a plus one to a plus five. Massive damage increase. And then I've got... I've got only two of these uh, level one smithing stones now. <sighs> but at least I got this one to the next tier, so... I won't need more level 1 smithing stones to, uh, to upgrade my spear in the future. This may just be a spear run, you know? I don't think I'd mind that. Okay. We are going to run the hell by everybody. Go activate the, the waypoint or the... Yeah, I guess waypoint's probably the right one. Mm, no. What am I trying to say? Yeah, waypoint. We'll say waypoint. The, uh, the the close spawner to that boss, and we'll give him a few shots and see if we can't we can't um, make some progress. Obviously, that last attempt wasn't exactly a uh, <laughs> a master class or anything, but it was the first attempt. Can't expect too much. It's kind of the nature of this game. It's all a matter of learning what the enemy is capable of and how to respond to it. Hang on. Oh. I think I think I picked the wrong the wrong spawn point. My apologies. Yes. Yes, this is much better. Yep, off towards the bridge. say I graced the wrong grace. I was truly lost on which grace to grace. I didn't level up, damn it. <sighs> Turn around. False start. I gotta deal with this guy on the bridge. Hop up, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. No, don't bleed me. So, a little bit upset that you're hurting my horse. We just wanted to get by, sir. We're not. We're not a threat to you. Don't want any trouble. You hear? Please not still following me. I think this spear is a... I think it's a strength... I think it's an equal... I think it's like a DD for strength index. Oh, let's double check. No, don't de-equip it. Um, yeah, it's a DD scaling for strength index, so... No benefit in pumping one or the other. So we will get strength to 20. Alright. Also means we're one step closer to that hand ballista, which... Hell yeah. Be very excited to be able to wield that weapon. 
Again, zero practicality. It's just for the badassness. You know, if I was actually running with a spear like that, it would be cutting the ropes on the bridge. And I would be plummeting to my doom. The tree guardians are kind of crap. I guess they're like Erd tree guardians or something. So. I guess they have the Erd tree like growing out of them. You should kind of wonder how that process is performed. Oh yeah, I forgot the sneaky ones. There they are. It's fine. The more time you take to dig yourself out of the ground, the the uh, more time I have to escape. So fine by me. Ah, I was gonna equip some uh, some good old flame uh, da, 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 grease, flame grease. Yes. I need him to smash some of these pots so I have more room to gallop around. Ow. He does hit like a truck. Or should I say like a trunk? Um, it's a bit of a panic double jump. Kind of whiffed. Somehow. There we go. Hmm. Don't know if that should have hit me. Okay. All right. I wonder if I activated the uh, checkpoint or not. I should have, but I don't know if I did. I also have the... Yeah, I did. Good. Good, good, good. I have the sneaking suspicion that any summons I pull here are just going to be worthless. The tree's just going to smack him down. Assuming summons are even possible. Doesn't look like them. Maybe. I may not have the... Uh, you know. You know. There was a red FP cost when I equipped these guys. And I assumed it was just because they cost more FP. Yeah, so I just don't even have the FP to do to uh to, to summon the demi humans. Let's uh check my status. Is that is that listed anywhere? Yeah, okay, so I've got sixty eight FP. And the demi humans cost 69 which is nice but it doesn't do me any good so they're just not an option for me and i don't see myself pumping any levels into mind or whatever Oof. okay first attack and he hit home the tracking on that is no joke Hmm, that seems like it's specifically designed to punish a, a horse user. Okay, so... Clearly what I'm doing is not working. That's three pretty quick deaths. And I'm not above just ditching this guy and coming back later. I don't think we have to beat him right now, but... I'd like to get at least a good attempt in on him. I did not recover my ruins. There we go. My horse is quite damaged. This saddens me. Here you go, horsey. It's not where you want to be. Hmm. Oh, damn it, did I not? Mm. I think I recovered, but I had zero ruins there. I don't know if they just drain really quick or... Uh, oh well, it's fine. It was just a thousand. Okay. I need to get to a point where he's just not completely wrecking me. Which probably means riding away and then trying to pick exactly when the right time to ride in is. And also like baiting attacks. Yes, like that. Okay, I don't think he attacks after that leap attack pretty sure oh, no 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 see i just i just said the plan and we're not following the plan at all also my poor horse here you go buddy eat up torrent delicious raisins your favorite yeah he attacks after that overhead seal the horse just a little bit more not only out of necessity but out of kindness torrent's a good boy i won't hear anything to the contrary 
That's a two, that's a three. Okay, so he does like a swipe left. He does follow that up. Yeah, there. Okay, so that's a two attack pattern. Two, okay. Usually when enemies slam something down like that, that's kind of the end, but that's a, this is a three attack, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're learning. We're getting it. Okay, that's... No. That's, I thought that was the attack that summoned the, the laser beams, but it appears not. I need to watch out it. Again, same attack. Need to definitely keep an eye out for the, the good old laser beam attack. Yeah, there's a follow-up. And that's the only follow-up. Ah, I'm at a bad angle. Circle around, reset. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Stay perpendicular. Keep calm and circle the boss. Okay. One, and then two. Ooh. Did I, was that a one-shot? I didn't think I had any health gone, you know. Huh. If this boss can one-shot me, I'm going to be a little bit more annoyed with this fight. Okay. Boy Torrent. And have some raisins. May need to craft some more raisins soon. I don't know how many I have. Let's see. Yeah, now we're doing fine. Okay, recover first. Then let's get to uh, tree hunting. Whiff. A glorious start. What are you going to do? What's your plan? What's your plan? Two. And three. Okay. Good, good, good. It's probably going to take about 20 hits or so. One. And then the follow-up. No, just that? Okay. Thought he, he did a little sweepy sweep after. Oh! Whoa! Barely dodged that. And going in there was a bit greedy, too. Thank you for destroying the terrain. There's probably a strategy like that where you get the boss to destroy all the terrain first. And then start doing damage. Okay. I think I'm right in front of him, you know. Uh, two... Huh, that was just two. Nope, that's greedy. Don't do that, don't do that. Bad. Bad leggy couch. Uh, leap. Okay. Another leap. But a holy leap. Fancy motherfucker. Nope, nope, no, no, no. There it is. That tree thick, though. Just saying. I see a dude with a really big round shield rolling around. And by dude, I mean spirit. That's one thing I've noticed about, um, you know, watching back my VODs. In the interest of improving. I say, I call a lot of things dudes and bros. <laughs> and sometimes I'm not really clear about exactly what I'm talking about. So you're like, ah, that bro over there. And it's... That could refer to any number of things. It could be it could be an enemy, it could be a friend, it could be a wolf, it could be my horse, it could be an ally. So, <laughs> a little bit on bro watch here, bro. Okay, and yes. You know, well, I was, a, oh, nope, we don't have time for you. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. 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 This is bad. 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 I'm torn between trying to take the little druid guys out or just ignoring them. I feel like if I ignore them, they will make me pay. Yeah. All right. There's the summon. I think this is an okay angle. Protect me, pots. Protect me, tree. Right, that's the triple attack, right? Oh, he does damage to the druids. Okay, that's fine then. I'll let him handle it. Are these technically druids? I don't know. Calling the druids is sufficient for my purposes, I think. All right. To the safety of the pot. Do not fear the pot. More? He's just spamming that attack now. 
annoying. And that's not really a threat. Again, I don't know why I say this shit. Just asking for the jinx. I think my levels are okay. Probably should have kept a closer eye on that, but... I think this is like the first time I've checked since the very beginning sound check. But... We're okay, right? It should be okay. That's one thing. It would be nice to record game audio and my audio separately, potentially. But I think it's just a luxury, you know? If you just don't fuck up the mix, there's no need to do that. So I'll just focus on not fucking up the mix. It's worked out so far. There's been a couple of things that... Like that first time I fought McLion phase. Hmm. Nah, I don't like that. You like that I'm healing my horse right in front of you? How do you feel? Makes you want to leap attack, doesn't it? Okay, slow and steady. That's okay. You can do that attack if you want. It's not going to hit me ever. Not in a million years. Not today, not tomorrow, not yesterday. If you went back in time, that was a little greedy. Did you do it again? No, okay. I need to... I need to bait him into an attack here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's a follow-up there, right? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. All according to plan. Yes. The Avatar's got a little bit of cake, you know? Like, it's got a nice little sort of... It's got a little bit of back back there. A little bit of junk in the trunk. That was close. Too bad it's a giant tree monster and the avatar of an ancient, horrible tree. You know, that's one thing I haven't thought about. I don't know if I'm on the Erd Tree side or not. I could be making an enemy of what's supposed to be, like, who I'm supposed to ally with later. So, hopefully I'm not fucking up my in-game path or ending or anything right now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh <laughs> oh. That was close. <laughs> that was a panic bail. Okay. And then the follow-up, right? Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. We almost have them. Just gonna try that one more time. It's a cool-looking attack. Gotta admit. Uh oh, uh oh. That was too close, but, sir, you have been felled. Good game. Enemy felled. Good game, tree. You're the toughest tree I've ever fought. Opaline? Opaline? Bubble tear. Crimson burst? Crystal tear? That's, that's a crying tree. On the Weeping Peninsula. Huh. Usually I don't associate trees with tears, but here we are. I don't ever accuse FromSoft to following the rules and conventions, so... So is that the whole point of coming up here, is to fight that mini-boss? Eh, he's a full-on boss, I would say. Not really a mini-boss. I don't know why I'm surprised that you can't go into the tree. I mean, there's very few trees in reality that you can go into. Oh, there's a health refill right here. Would have been nice to know. Oh, only my lax... I have only my lack of observational skills to blame. A nice little refill here. I think. Oh, was I full? Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Hello, sir. I killed your, uh... The avatar of your deity. How do you feel about that? Oh, you're not pleased, huh? That's okay. I was gonna say, no one asked for your opinion, but I... I kind of literally asked for his opinion, so. Either way, it doesn't matter now. Right. So, with that, because I don't really care too much about what's going on over there. I guess, ah, we could check it out. Let's, yeah, let's check it out. We did come all the way up here, you know. So we've got the fire field goblins here. And then we've got fucking real scary bats. Bats that I would...
probably be better totally avoiding. Ooh, sheep. Free sheep. Slay the sheep. Harvest the sheep. That boss didn't drop that many souls, you know. Only got 3,000. It's not enough for a level. Not even enough for a level. Enunciation is an important skill when you are communicating. Spear is so OP, man. I love my spear. I don't take fire damage here, right? It's kind of weird. You would expect to take some passive fire damage in a field that is literally on fire, but again, I don't make the rules. All right, we're an hour and a half in. Yeah, this will probably be the last little area that we explore. Hopefully it doesn't end in total disaster. And then we can uh, get ready to begin our week. All right, I think the right play here is take bats out from a distance. Ooh, I didn't like how his eyes lit up there. Mm. Can I reach you? Nah, rock's in the way. There we go. Let's give the broadsword a little bit of love, even though it's now lagging well behind my trusty spear in level. It still does plenty of damage for these guys. Yeah. Plus, hitting these guys with the spear is... Not fun, I imagine. Haven't tried it, but I have a hard enough time hitting rats that are, like, elevated by a ledge with that spear. Let alone flying creatures. Okay. The singing bats. Don't know what they're called. I know there's a few varieties of them. Or, actually, I don't know. There may only be one variety that sing, but there are other varieties of supercharged mini boss bats and they are not fun <sighs> the singing is pretty ominous I'm pretty sure it was intended to be that way objective achieved all right let's just double check there's no other bats that are gonna join in the fight from above I don't think there should be but yeah. Seems clear. No friend ahead. Be wary of sound. Yes, indeed. There he is. They are legit creepy and also pretty damn strong. So we'll have to employ some, some good tech here to, to pull out ahead. I think the only time I fought them was with my other character. And it was a pain with my other character. I'm pretty sure my other character was higher level than this one. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So, although that character did not have a plus 5 weapon, this guy has the right idea. Shooting from his horse and then retreating quickly. I think I'm going to shoot from the ground. Oh, there they come. Ow. It's the, uh... It's the vanguard. All right. Would it be too tacky to say batter up? Um, there we go. So creepy. All right. Let's try and get a charged mega attack. There we go. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Here they go. Okay, she, yeah, she's the poison kind. There's also a magic kind. Please hit. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If we could get her before she even gets here. Oh, nope. My prayers would not be answered. Of course, part of it was, again, poison for my last playthrough was just absolute poison. Okay, I've had enough of your bullshit. There we go. Well, that... I talked that enemy up so much, and then, really, it wasn't any problem at all. And you guys should be ashamed. You didn't do anything. You stood by there and watched. Maybe they were tired of her singing, you know? I mean, it's kind of nice. It's it's spooky and ominous, but I can imagine... You know, it seems like she does that all day, so... 
then they've been ready for a, uh, a bit of peace and quiet. And now they'll have the eternal peace and quiet of their their uh, eternal slumber. I guess I said eternal twice. It's fine. It's okay. Who's keeping score? Are you keeping score? I'm not keeping score. Um, right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe the revenge tour of the Weeping Peninsula is done. I can't guarantee that we saw everything there is to see up here, but we saw a lot of it. And honestly, it was a pretty cool little side area. Uh, would I explore this thoroughly again? I don't know. I think I'd have to be in the right headspace. It does feel weird thinking back that about... Because I have how many hours on this character? Let's let's just see. Okay, I've got 17 and a half hours. And... Let's see. An hour and a half today and... Four and a half hours on Friday. And... Yeah, the stream before as well, which was about two hours. So... Six and a half... Like eight hours? So about half the playtime on this character has been, um, about half the playtime on this character has been on this continent. And this continent is not towards the main objectives. So that's kind of strange, you know? But it does meet the criteria we set for ourselves when we started this playthrough, which was take your time, explore everywhere and try to leave no stone unturned so i think next time we'll be back on the main continent we'll be eventually working our way this way towards good old godric and the boss that's in this area like the first main boss of the game really who again on my first playthrough when i was kind of rushing through I struggled mightily with... I can't remember their name. They kind of... I think it started with an M, but... Uh, whatever. But I think before we kind of travel down the, the main path and go into the Stormvale Castle, we'll kind of work our way through here in the woods. I think I remember there was something... Like, there's maybe an elevator in the woods I'm supposed to find, according to one uh, chatter a few days ago. And there's also something about, like, snapping when a wolf howls when you're in the woods don't know what that's about so i think i'm gonna kind of you know i've kind of explored all this pretty well i'm gonna loop around this way and kind of try to cover everything along you know this edge of the continent and kind of fill in the blanks as i go i'm not going over here fuck this area for now don't even want to know but there's still a good portion of this continent to, to uh, explore. And it looks like it's, I don't know, it's roughly the same size as the peninsula. Maybe a little bit smaller, so there should be plenty of things to find around here, I would expect. But we'll see. But anyways, for now, I think this is where we depart for the weekend. Um, let's see. I see land octopi. Nah, I'll leave them be. They're just hanging out on a ledge. A few small land octopi never hurt anyone seriously. So, um, yeah, this week I I think the way my work schedule is is it's not too heavy at the moment. Of course, things can change very rapidly, but I should be working a standard schedule, which means I should have time to stream on most days during the week um so maybe every other day or a couple days this week will be kind of my goal and then on the weekend i do have plans i've got to help a, a buddy paint his house out of town so there probably won't be a stream friday or saturday unfortunately uh, i may be able to do one on sunday possibly it kind of just depends on how things go um, coming back into town and if I'm able to um, accomplish everything I need to do to get ready for the week but 
I'm kind of eyeing Sunday as a a bit of a stream. It probably won't be a super long stream. Probably. But we will see how it goes. So that's kind of the informal schedule. So until then, appreciate you stopping by if you did. Um, wish you a good week if you're watching this close to when this came out. And if you're watching it back later, then wherever you are in your week, I hope it's going well and um, you're awesome. Thanks for hanging out. This has been Laggy Couch, and I will see you next time. Y'all take care, and I'll try my best to do that as well. Um, see you later.